We envisioned a, a mass movement, a state-based one, but national in scope, of hundreds of thousands of American citizens from all walks of life, standing up and fighting for the economic freedoms that have made our nation the most prosperous society in history. The single most important thing is knowing what you believe. Do you believe that people are better off keeping more of their money, that people are better decision makers for their lives than some centralized government? Americans for Prosperity have made a tremendous partner in a lot of the struggles in healthcare, in choice in education, and in many other areas. They've had a, a very real and lasting effect of getting some of this policy through the legislature. We want the maximum freedom to launch businesses, create opportunity, and expand prosperity. I've been involved in politics for many, many years. AFP really is in a space that I believe is indispensable. Getting that knock on the door, having that face-to-face -face conversation with somebody who really believes in a candidate and a cause, that's kind of where the rubber meets the road, and that's a real competitive edge. Americans for Prosperity is nonpartisan, and that is essential at a time when the very foundations of our nation are being challenged. Now more than ever, we need a strong, principled freedom movement to hold both political parties accountable, and that's exactly what American for Prosperity is doing. Principle is far more important than the party. And so AFP simply has more legitimacy as an advocate than, say, a party would. They don't have pet legislators. They don't specifically support only one party. They support an idea. They support a principle. And they're unmoving in their support of that. Consistency matters. And the ability to knock on a million doors in an election year breeds tremendous respect. And Americans for Prosperity can do that. It's beyond my wildest dreams how AFP has grown. More and more of our fellow citizens are beginning to see the same truths as we do. We're thinking in generational terms. We're planning in generational terms. Every generation in America can advance the cause of liberty. And every generation in America, I believe, has a responsibility to do that.